The 4th of July was no picnic for Ralph Myers. I panicked a little bit because I tried to get up, but I couldn't find my left arm. Ralph suffered a stroke in the middle of the night and managed to crawl to his cell phone to call for help. The ambulance came and then they brought me here to Mercy. Ralph did the right thing. Getting medical treatment right away is crucial to good outcomes. Some of the medications that we use and treatments that we use are time-based, meaning if you are uh, having stroke symptoms and you come in, but it's beyond four and a half hours, we aren't able to use any of those medications. Ralph's stroke symptoms were fairly typical. They came on fast, he lost function on one side of his body, and he was dizzy. Other symptoms include difficulty with speech, vision problems, and difficulty walking. Dr. Young says if you experience any of these symptoms, act quickly. Again, time is of the essence. When they do occur suddenly, you don't talk to family on the phone. You don't sit at home and hope that they go away. You don't call your family doctor. You call 911 and you go to the emergency room as quickly as possible. Ralph spent about a month in the hospital and several more months in rehab, working diligently with physical therapists. When you have a tragedy happen to you, you know, when you have people like that around you, it's a plus. You know, it, it's part of rehabilitating. As a retired police officer, Ralph has always been active. Since the stroke, he's increasingly motivated to work hard and get back to his former self. He's thankful for the care he's received and to live in a community that places a strong emphasis on stroke prevention and treatment. If that occurs, you're in a well-trained and well-equipped community. If you look nationwide in terms of treatment with clot-breaking drugs, 3% of all patients with stroke get treated with that. Within the last year, we've bumped up to where we're around 20, 25%. People that get treated in that way do better. I can't say enough about the care and uh, the people that work there.